Okay, everybody, today we're going to take a little field trip. We're going to go out to Fidon Beach Resort. The place has been here a while. I think it's about the oldest resort in this area. It's located on the highway between Pandan and Libertad. Been there since 2002, now in their 24th year of business. So, hey, let's go. Okay, this is the bungalow, 3,700 pesos a night. It's about $70 U.S., these rooms are all very nice. This is uh, well separated from anything else, so very quiet, very peaceful. Taking a quick look at the CR here, also known as the restroom. I really like these huge rain heads that they have in most of the restrooms. This one doesn't happen to have one. Most of them do. There are 22 rooms here. And they range anywhere from about 2,750 pesos up to 5,200 pesos a night. The room that we're seeing now is the Villa Pandan, which happens to be $5,200 a night, which is just shy of $100 a night. Kitchen area, it's very nice. There is also a dining area, however the table for that is outside currently, so you can enjoy indoor or outdoor dining. little couch there can also be made into a bed. Have absolutely a huge master bedroom. I also really like the murals that have been done on the walls in here. Just gives it that extra little touch. And once again, the CR. We'll go ahead and head on outside to this veranda which is very large and just an absolute beautiful view of the ocean and the beach. A few chairs out here, also a hammock. If you just want to be lazy, I know I would. Well, now we're coming into the first honeymoon suite. 4,500 pesos a night, or somewhere close to $80. really like these little rest areas they have in the windows kind of cut out there. It's just perfect to maybe lay down and read a book. Once again, look at that beautiful mural. I really enjoy that. Small fridge over there tucked away. In fact, I believe that every room has its own small fridge, so you can put some sodas or whatever you need to in there. Taking a look at this CR, this CR is pretty large. I guess its real claim to fame here it would be this shower. This shower, I don't know if the video is doing it justice, but it is massive. It can comfortably accommodate two people. Has this large window looking outside to a little garden area. And now we're kind of right up above where we were going into the second honeymoon suite. Once again, you see the little couch over there that can be made into a bed. Plenty of storage to put your luggage or backpacks, whatever you need to. And a view of the beach and the ocean there a little bit. Here's one of those huge rain nozzles that I like so much. A 
Once again, little fridge tucked away over there. Okay, we'll go ahead and go into a deluxe room here, $3,900 a night, <laughs> dollars, I'm sorry, pesos a night. <laughs> Once again, that's going to be about $70. And look at that mural once again, just absolutely lovely. And once again, a huge walk-in shower with, of course, uh, a view to a garden outside. Okay, this is also going to be a deluxe room. These are two floors so there's another room identical to this right above it this has a pool view it's 4300 pesos a night or about 80 US dollars as we go into the CR restroom here the camera really didn't do it justice because the tile in there is black 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 it's not whatever color it is that this is showing, and I have no idea how or why the camera did it. But it looks kind of a, oh, a brownish color, but it is not. It is black, and it's beautiful. They also have their standard room, which is $27.50 a night. We were not able to take a look at that. Um, they were all full, had people in them. Once again, you saw that huge rain nozzle up there. I really like that. And here are the uh, pools. The lower pool is a kiddie pool, so you can go in there with your toddlers and such, not real deep. The upper pool is for adults. That does have some depth. And there's your outside bar, and over to the right there's a pool table that you can also shoot pool if you'd like, no charge included. And this facility does have a generator. In fact, the day that I was filming this, it was on a generator because there was no power in the local area. However, the resort was fully up and functioning, air conditions and all. And here we are up on the terrace of the restaurant. You can choose to dine inside or outside. That is open from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. with prices ranging anywhere from 100 pesos to about 500 pesos plus, which would be about $2 and up. And then we're going to go out here to the beach, which is absolutely gorgeous white sand beach. These white sand beaches are a bit rare here on this specific island of Panay. Most of them tend to be uh, have a lot of pebbles in them and be a, a brown in color. But the owner of this resort did just a really tremendous job picking it out. Also, if you mention this video, you will get 10% off any stay, any time of year. Just tell them you saw it with ORF in the Philippines.